Hello and welcome to the Papra.com where we're discussing the Battle of the Blues, the 138th version which will happen at the SSC grounds in a few days time and on the Papra.com we always like to look at this uh, pinnacle of March Madness and to do so we have two uh, good friends off the pitch and two fierce rivals on the pitch at the 137th Battle of the Blues. We have from St. Thomas's uh, Satyata Jayatilak and from Royal Navin Vidana Patri. Let's start some about Royal Thomian's past first. Navin, uh, you must be really savouring the win from last year. Yeah, yes, definitely. Uh, back in 2009, I didn't even know what Royal Thomian was. And uh, I started my school career at Royal in grade 9. And ending up in the big match winning team, it was a great honour and it was a privilege to continue the legacy. Uh, having the big match uh, uh, in Thora Sand in the first day and ending up in a winning note, it was one of the greatest moments in my life. I'm sure it must be, and uh, to you, uh, Sajitha, as well, third year Kalasmal captain from last year, it must be hurting, but it was still a great game of cricket, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, the cricket of the game of cricket that won on that day. We were dominating our first two days, and third day, first session itself, uh, Ram and I got some quick wickets, and it turned on the Royal. And last session, they had 150 runs to get to win the 180th Battle of the Blues. Yeah, it was a superb uh, final session, really. A lot of us were expecting uh, to, to see that whether Royal would get bowled out on that last day, but uh, wonderful uh, fight back from Royal also, given how down and out they were on the first two days. But uh, let's look at the current match and let's look at the two captains first. You guys know them better than anyone else. Uh, Helita Vitanage of Royal and Ramesh Nallaperuma of St. Thomas's. Uh, Navin, can you tell us a little bit about the Royal captain? Tell us a few stories that uh, you went on in the dressing room. Helita Vitanage and I uh, got colours together, as in we, we started our school cricketing career together. And uh, Helita is one of the most down to earth uh, persons that I've ever seen. And uh, he's, a, he's a player who, who likes to play in silent and he loves to prove his critics wrong. And what about uh, the Thomian captain, Nala Peruma? Sajati, you must be a good friend of his. Nala Peruma has been playing cricket uh, when I was in under 13 onwards. Those days he used to be a hitter. But now he has changed his game and he has taken responsibility and he has been a true leader. Because this year we have a pretty young team. He has done really well so far when you look at the results. And he has played some captain's knock, especially at the Trinity match, we were 99 for 9. And he, uh, we had to score 122. He won the game for us. Yeah, well, that, that will give him a lot of confidence going in to the big match. Only three colorsmen for St. Thomas's this year. Satyadi, you think that that's going to be a problem? Uh, this year we have a pretty young side, but the three colorsmen they have performed well. And Pavit Ratnayaka, who has taken 96 wickets, four more wickets to get his 100, he has been bowling really well. So has Kalana Pereira, the fast bowler. And this year we have done pretty well looking at the bowling side. And uh, what about Royal? Again, uh, not a not a uh, not a colorsman laden side uh, for Royal. So, is it something that a lot of the freshers are going to be nervous about going in? Uh, well, actually, Royal Thomian has always been a different bat and ball game. Uh, it's uh, you never know what will happen, what the end result will be. Uh, as in the season, reason uh, season revolves ar around the uh, freshers. That's and uh, who are the key batsmen in the lineup for, for St. Thomas's, Sajid? Uh, starting off from Ramesh Nala Peruma, Delon Piris and Vice Captain Ravind Koditoakku, who scored his who scored 95 in his first year itself, and Sitara Hapuinna, who won the game for us at the last year's Mustangs Trophy single-handed, and Mantila, he's the other best batsman in our team. So they have been combining well. We haven't had big scores, but we they have been doing their parts properly. And what about for Royal uh, Navin? Batting at Royal revolves around the seniors actually. Helita, who is captain in the season, has scored over 1000 runs. Uh, and uh, Kavindu Madara Singh, a fresher, the wicket keeper, has scored uh, 960 plus. And Ronuka Jayavadana uh, and Himesh Ramanayaka and Pasin Surya Bandar, who scored the uh, century at the big match. Well, quite a few names there, and uh, we'll see which one of them will come good at the SSC grounds. Uh, obviously, uh, since we lost the Shield last time around, uh, such as there has been uh, a lot of talk about at St. Thomas's about getting it back from uh, Royal College, and Dav Watmore has come into the side. Along with Dav, what are the other approaches you think that St. Thomas's will use to try and win the Shield back? This year, all the time, we are positive. But this year we are going in as we like to go in as underdogs. So Dave Watmo, he has given us so so much of experience. He's a very nice coach. He's very different, and he talks in a very different manner. 
and he helps, he always talks in a positive manner. So he helps our cricketers because this year we have a very young side, only three colours man and the freshers have done their part. So this year will be a great battle. It will be a great battle and what about Royals' uh, attitude to that battle, uh, Navin? How are they going to approach uh, defending the DS Sharnayaka Shield? Uh, well, I'd rather put it in uh, in a high note saying that we'll not only defend it like last year, we will win it and we'll, uh, we'll retain the Shield. Uh, well, playing with Thora, playing with Sachita, playing with his teammates has always been an honour for me. Uh, Royal Thomin, as I said, Royal Thomin is always a different bat and a ball game. Uh, the team who does the basics right end up uh, winning the match. Well, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, for joining us. And uh, don't forget to watch the uh, Royal Thomian live on the papare.com. Don't forget, it's the first time, the 138th, 138th version rather, is the first one that will uh, feature a third umpire as well uh, for line calls. Don't forget to watch the previews, reviews and all the action that we bring you along with uh, the Battle of the Blues on the papare.com.